So it's Tuesday the 13th of June 2023 on a hot Tuesday morning in June, hotter than July you know. Um, it's going to be about oh about 26 degrees, maybe 28 degrees today, which is quite warm for Britain you see, quite warm. Um, it's, not, it's not like Borneo or you know 40 degrees or anything but uh, we had hailstones yesterday and I got caught in it with my friend Melissa walking around Worley Woods not a good look not a good look <laughs> totally tranced anyway it's what you do when you want a little bit of exercise so the plan today so we've got Mr Doll Player all very happily leaning against the wall there looking cool. This is what I'm doing today. Let me put some light on so you can see it better. So Gujarati lady is looking quite fine. She's got some brown texture with a lot of sparkly glittery tile there which I've cut in half which matches this one here which I'd cut into small pieces. And uh, I'm now getting on to her skirt. Now, originally, I was going to do it in a nice, rich yellow. However, I'm thinking these bangles are inspiring me because they've got, on this Kilncraft plate, quite a lot of rich vermilion kind of red going on, red, orangey red. And it just so happens that... Um, Paul Sell Ceram gave me some external tiles. So I have got enough, I think. I've got a fourth tile, but I'll leave that back. So there's two tones of red, and obviously this is the shiner one, and slightly shiny, and this one's a lovely matte. So you can see what they're called. Series 400 is what I go, I'm going to be using for my next public project. More about that another time. So my little plan of action is to cut these gorgeousness into singular duos. Now I might do singular singulars. We'll see how it looks because I like this undulation going on here giving it a little bit extra movement and this is one plate so you can thin it out by doing things like that so I'll be cutting them up so there's going to be a little hint of brown around the edge and then infill with my usual chunky funky you know movement that way um, I'm thinking red here as well to match it perhaps a different red so if I just like worked on this area with the two reds here and then this shiny one at the top there I think that would work really nicely um, I've still got this to figure out I've still got some more of this I haven't got any more of this gold but actually I have got different kinds of gold which could work out well um, this has got nice texture to it slightly different but it's that pale gold ilk and I think we can get away with that really I make the rules I change the rules you know what I mean that's what you think about when you're doing your own mosaic making and then over here we've got the continuation of the checks it does look like um either Willy Wonka or some Alice in Wonderland craziness going on. So um, the red dots indicate where I'm going to put the screws. Let me just show you. So I've got these washers here. So I'm going to be gluing them on, you know, and then drilling them so that they're absolutely, absolutely pushed in. Not th that direction, but the curved way in downwards so it's uh, concave convex convex so um, yeah so this is the plan of action for today um, I did quite a bit yesterday making lots of decisions adding and shaping some kiln craft there now I quite like this kiln craft I might even put a little bit it's a pity kiln craft didn't do them in green but I'm going to see what it looks like 
infilling around here with these little sections here. However, I have got spots and dots. So if I've got small areas, I could put the spots and dots in there. It doesn't matter if uh, I've got gappage um, because this, this grout does take 20 mils gap. Um, but, you know, too much gappage, I don't know. It doesn't really work well with the patterning. So, yeah, <coughs> I think I will um, have a think about that still. Um, I've got I've got some greens. I've got greens like this, you see, which, uh, which I might cut up and use. A bit of the old crockery. And then heighten it, you know, put, it, put a, a little bit of tile underneath or glass or mirror so that there's a little bit more height. That would be a nice texture, actually. That's the answer, I think, rather than the kiln craft, because that's too yellow, you see. Uh, and we want yellow and, and red on this one, you see. So, uh, and we've got this lime green as well. So there's plenty to be playing up with, really. So, this is the work so far. Caroline Jerrywell and Mango Mosaics, over and out. See you soon.